in this episode of BTB Trading. And today I sold it out right here somewhere. I guess this was a pretty nice uh, profit already. It was pretty high above the the Bollinger Band. I think I have a return on investment of about 28.21. It's kind of interesting times, I think. They're all going to be overbought because of the good news of Congress and the House both going to Democrats. So this means like they have full control over which laws pass and which don't. So I don't understand why people would buy this. Kind of scared that if I buy it today that tomorrow it will drop. But uh, I think you got to take risks in life, I guess. So, after thinking, I will buy the ArcelorMittal, I think. So, I bought the stock, keeping a pretty tight stop loss for this one. I think there's still some room left to go, so not too worried about this one. Probably sell it next week, early next week or something. What's up YouTube, uh, it's a good day, we are the 7th now, and Biden has officially uh, won with the Senate and the Congress, both winning parties for the Democrats. So this was kind of good news and all the stocks really are uh, doing pretty well actually. So uh, I thought I would sell out takeaway first, but apparently uh, Schneider Electric was one a sell out first. So, as you can see, it did pretty well last days or last month. This and today I sold it out right here somewhere. I guess this was a pretty nice uh, profit already, and I didn't want to take a risk that it would fall again, so I cashed out. As you can see, it was pretty high above the the Bollinger Band here, so I thought this was a pretty good moment to sell out already. It was even a better moment, like it was risen. It has, it has risen again uh, today, and it probably has some margin left to rise here. But uh, yeah, the stock was really over sold and over uh, overbought. I mean. So I don't think I made the wrong decision, but I probably could have sold it with, for more, but I was happy already. Um, I think I have a return on investment of about 28.21, so it's not pretty bad. I sold it for 245 euros, so it's like a 55, 56 euro net profit, which isn't that bad. So. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let me see what other stocks I can buy now because, like I said, all the stocks are doing pretty good right now. So I don't know if uh, I find a good buying moment for these stocks. So there are a lot of stocks that are looking good right now, but they all are like exhibiting similar patterns for now. So like most of the stocks I, that I was tracking in my watchers list all uh, had the last two days uh, breaking of the top bowling event but they all have like overbought signals so I'm not sure so these ones look overbought but then here is like uh, a MACD reversal so this is actually a good indication that this might go up even more but yeah this one could be a good one but let me show some other ones uh, for example, this is Melexis, the other one was Tweeka, TKH. Melexis had good, uh, well, their uh, daughter company had good results yesterday, so that's where the big jump was. Um, but there's also like overbought, overbought, and here's also the, the MACD reversal, so it's kind of interesting times. I think they're all going to be overbought because of the good news of Congress and the House both going to Democrats, 
So this means like they have full control over which laws pass and which don't. So uh, this is really good news for like the the green industry and the uh, apparently also for metals and probably it's for trading deals and stuff. Uh, this is like Dieter. I have also have the similar pattern. So I'm not sure like which I would buy. I think I'm gonna look a bit around because uh, not everyone had turbos available. I saw that a lot of them didn't have turbos available for some reason. I think some banks have suspended the this, this trade of some turbos. I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, as you can see, they're all exhibiting similar patterns. So I think it's in general a good buying moment. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just because of the news hype that, uh, with, uh, with, uh, yeah, uh, the protesters yesterday storming the Congress and stuff, and now the Democratic swing towards well, the Democratic uh, confirmation that House and Senate are both, uh, House and Congress are both for the Democrats. So. Uh, let me see which turbos I can find. Uh, I'm not sure which one I will buy. I think I will buy mining companies, so probably AMG, Aperam, ArcelorMittal, or uh, that's, that, those are the three mining companies or like refineries and stuff. So after looking at uh, all the stocks, I only found these turbos that within 6 to 10 range of the uh, of leverage of the turbos uh, but the ArcelorMittal for example have too, too tight of a stop loss so it's like 18.688 and let's see yeah, it's it's really close I don't understand why people would buy this Yeah, one bad day and well I guess people would buy it because it's rising super good but mm, I'm actually thinking about the Malexis one when was this Sterling it was before do, do, do. Mm. so I kinda like Malexis or Tweaker this one also has a pretty good one. 38.321. 380. So, Tweaker. Let me check the graph real quick. So, mm, I think this one probably is the best one. I think. Oh, it's difficult. Detail. What was the detail one? That's yeah, not good enough for these overbought. Kind of scared that if I buy it today, that tomorrow it will drop. But uh, I think you gotta take risks in life, I guess. So let me buy someone. So after thinking, I will buy the Arcelometal, I think. Just because Aperum and I am here, other steel and mining companies are doing also similar really well so i think this is like big news for the sector and i'm gonna play off that so let me buy some stocks here let's buy a hundred of it just the market order uh, i'll be right back i'm gonna do this right so I bought a stock of 100 for 245 euros. Um, stop loss is gonna be at 90.9. This is a pretty, uh, pretty close stop loss because I don't know what the stock is or how it will go in the next day. So keeping it pretty tight stop loss for this one. Uh, let's finish with looking at how the takeaway is doing. So to end this episode, I think 
just the takeaway, not doing too bad. Uh, had a little spike where I could potentially have sold, but I think there's still some room left to go, so not too worried about this one. Probably sell it next week, early next week or something. But we'll see about that. Anyways, thanks for watching.